Day 1, Psilocybin Mushrooms, 4 grams, MDA, 125 milligrams, Prozac, 10 milligrams, Marijuana, Lots. Day 2, 2 CB, 30 milligrams, MDMA, 130 milligrams NAGHB, 4.5 grams plus 2.9 grams, Marijuana, more than day 1. Nitrous Oxide, 10 whippets. Day 3, Ethanol, 3 ounces. Marijuana, Big Bud, 2 bowls. NAGHB, 4.5 grams plus 2 grams. Day 4, Ethanol, 10 ounces. Marijuana, 1 bowl. Traditionally, for the last 30 years or so, many students and alums of my former school take a weekend vacation from sanity and sobriety and congregate to listen to bands, roast cow, and ingest large amounts of mind-altering substances. I had the fortune of my 21st birthday and associated pub crawl on the following Monday, and also of a one-week, paid gap in employment, so I figured I'd let out all the stops for a good old-fashioned psychedelic bender. Day 1, Friday, I woke up at noon and immediately began munching 5-HTP in preparation for my MDA, which I'd been saving for about 6 months for the occasion. The bender began at 4.20 pm, smoking a few bowls with friends. 5.30 pm, pit lighting, 6 pm, mud wrestling. 7.30 pm, post shower, chopped down 4 grams of fresh wild shiitake mushrooms and washed it down with about half a dose ekis. Stomach flips in half an hour, and by 8 pm the trip was getting underway. I went outside and enjoyed the bands and lighting setup. At 9.30 pm, I popped 125 milligrams of MDA and counted the minutes until the peaks would coincide and the MDA would climb on top of me. 10 pm found me making out with an old flame as the glorious first 20 minutes of MDA washed over me, casting amazing patterns on her bare body in the dark room. Yeah. Let's skip forward to 11 pm, which found me having a great time and being the tripping socialite to the alums from years past and friends I hadn't seen in quite a while. The MDA and mushrooms blended perfectly, I felt at one with everything and everyone, and was very much tripping my eyeballs out, and the fun continued for many hours. At 3 a.m. I ate 10 mg Prozac in an attempt to reduce MDA, MDMA, MDE-style neurotoxicity by an SSRI. The trip started to wane at 4 a.m., and with the help of some 4, 20 dubich became a good, mellowing, satisfied come down. I slept at 6.30 a.m. Day 2, Saturday, I woke up at noon and immediately began munching on the cow that had been cooking the night before. I ate more 5-HTP to replenish the serotonin I dumped the crazy night before. I felt, to my surprise, just fine. More marijuana. Time passed. More and more marijuana, smoking all afternoon and evening. At 9.30 pm I ate 30 mg 2 CB and 130 mg MDMA together. 11 pm, midnight. Nothing. I realized that the Prozac must stay in my system for quite a while and therefore would neutralize the MDMA. I don't know what the 2 CB's excuse for hiding was, I'd done it only once and that was over a month earlier. I was still having a great time, there is underscore nothing underscore like this annual event, and smoking enough weed to anesthetize a buffalo. At 3.30 am I drank 4.5 grams of N.A.GHB dissolved in water. The GHB and weed gave each other a good kick in the ass, and I was pretty blitzed. 6 am saw the sun rising in glory, and me and friends sitting on an open porch sucking down whippets. I drank 2.9 grams more N.A.GHB and had 10 nitrous cartridges over the course of an hour and then went to breakfast. It had been a successful weekend so far. Sleep came at 8 am. Day 3, Sunday. Noon, half a bottle of champagne for breakfast. My housemate and I went home and smoked a bowl of Big Bud, high octane kind bud. We walked up the street to get food, and I noticed in the bright sun that I had started to trip from the weed. I ate, smoked another bowl and put on some music in a nice dark room. Pot visuals, very creative and sort of grainy, for a little while, and then I fell asleep for 6 more hours. Woke up, along with my housemate, at around 10 pm, and at 10.30 we drank some N, A.GHB again. 4.5 grams N dot A dot GHB each, and began to clean the house, work on projects, and generally do stuff. Took a walk in my gorgeous, industrial, pre-apocalyptic neighborhood around 3 to 4 a.m. after a GHB boost of 2 milligrams. Another good day. Day 4, Monday, the pub crawl. You know how these things go. With a friend who turned 21 the day before, and some others, we hit 6 or 7 bars and were pretty tanked upon returning home. I smoked a bowl or two and slept a well-earned sleep of ages. 
It's not the kind of thing to do every weekend, but a few times a year, this is a nice way to spend a couple of days if you can spare them.